Guys, this is a statics question. Here we are asked to find the x cg by cg, I mean the center of gravity. So we have to find the x cg position of the non uniform lamina. Those are both keywords that we have to use in this question. Since we are told that this lamina is non uniform, this means that the density changes in respect to x from the not position up into infinity up into till 1 in this case because we are given the limits the density is changing so now we have to find the center of mass how we go about doing this question is first we have to find a slice in our lamina which will help us to find a typical mass from that from that typical mass we can find the total mass of the lamina and from there it's easy to find the CG so let's dive into it let me change the color maybe uh, blue blue is okay So we want a slice here. We're going to slice it. It's either we slice it in the y direction or in the x axis. But then, if we think about it, since we are told that the density changes in respect to x, so it changes as you go from this side to this side. In other words, if we choose y, to, if if we choose um, if we choose to take our slices in the y axis, in the y direction, it won't help us because as you go up, the density is the same. But then, as you go horizontally, the density changes. So what? What we want, we want to work with a condition whereby the density remains constant. In this case, it's when we're taking, uh, when we're using the x-axis. Okay, so let's do that. So let let me take a slice here. And we have the center here. is x so this this slice has some some thickness which we're going to say it's it's dx even though like in this case the slice is very big in re actual reality it's very small it's a small dx so our first step is to find now the the mass of the slice we call that dm dm is the mass of the slice so dm will be equal to the area times the surface density we can further simplify this this will, is, will be the same as the as the height times the width dx and then multiply by the surface density so it will be the height times the width multiply by the surface density okay we can further simplify this since we know that the height 
Here we are given two equations. In order to find the height, we are going to take the upper equation and then subtract it from the lower equation. So it should be something like this. We have x squared minus x cubed. Then we have to multiply this by the width. What is our width here? We already st stated that the width will be dx. So from from this side to here is dx. But in reality, this is dx is very small. It's a small, tiny width. So it's dx. And then we have our surface density, which we know is lx. So in a way, we have our we have our our dm, the mass of our slice, just to write it more formally. It's x squared minus x times uh, since there's there's an x here, then there's an l. So we can put the L here and then multiply by the X throughout. So we have X cube X to the 4 and then we have R dx. So this is the mass of the of the slice. Another step now is to find the total mass of the lamina. In order to find the total mass Of the lamina, we are going to use the typical mass, but then we take we take an integration of the mass of the slice. This will give us the total mass of the lamina. So this will so the total mass which will we'll name it big M is equal to the integral of d m okay but then we're taking this integral from 0 to 1 working in the x direction so it's from 0 to 1 0 to 1 of l x cubed minus x raised by 4 dx so this is a simple integration and we can do this so what, what we get is that we're going to get l x to the 4 over 4 minus x to the 5 divided by 5 we're integrating this from 0 to 1 so we find that this is equal to L over 20 so this is the total mass of the lamina it's L over 20 but still we haven't answered the question the question was asking for the CG or the center center of gravity of the lamina. So now now we go to the third step which is answering which is finding uh, X C G C G means the center of gravity. So we're finding the x g now so what we're going to do we're going to first write the formula the formula says x is equal to the integral of x g times dm all divided by the total integral of M, which is the same as the total mass so in a way you can write M 
this x here is the CG of the slice that we took. So the x is the CG of the slice. And then dm is the mass of the slice. All of this is divided by the total mass of the lamina. We can substitute Q, substitute true. I'm going to have L oh okay, sorry. Since we have L over twenty, this can this will become twenty over L. The M here, since it's dividing, so it's going to be the inverse. So twenty will go up and L will go down. Still are taking the integral from zero to 1 of x, you know that x for the CG, uh, times L, x to the 3 minus x to the 4 times dx. It's the same thing here, we're going to multiply through and then take the integral. So, 20 goes outside this L and this L will cancel out until we are left something like this which is x to the 4 minus x to the 5 dx this is a simple integral of 20 take our you know integral rules distribute the integral inside so we're going to find first do x raised to the 4 then after that x raised to the 5 so it's a simple case of adding 1 then divided by the dividing by the power so we're going to have x to the 5 over 5 minus x to the 6 over 6 and then this is evaluated from 0 to 1 and then from here